In this video, I'm talking about one of the most common questions that I find almost impossible to answer. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. First off, I just want to say that I love when you guys leave comments and ask questions on my videos. And I do my absolute best to respond to each and every single one of your comments and answer every single one of your questions. But there is one particular type of question that I find nearly impossible to answer. And I have an example of one from Kyle Boyda. I will be getting my first pair of hearing aids this year. Which would you recommend between Phonak Audio M and Resound Links Quattro 9? I use an iPhone XR, so Android streaming is not an issue. My hearing loss is moderate. I also have no issues with dexterity. While this absolutely is a terrific question, the problem is, is that I just don't have enough information to be able to answer it. Anytime that I'm trying to decide which hearing aid technology or brand is right for a particular individual, it has to do with a lot of different factors. So let me go over a couple of those factors right now. Number one is your hearing test. Without a detailed hearing evaluation, I really have no clue which hearing aids are right for you. There's a lot of little factors that I look for when I'm looking at an audiogram that help me decide which technology is right for you. And this has everything to do with not only the brand of hearing aid, but the style of hearing aid and the power level of hearing aid. Unless I have this detailed audiometric data, I really have no idea which devices are right for you. Number two is your speech and noise score. Speech and noise score is a highly underutilized measurement inside of a clinic. And the reason that I like to know what your speech and noise score is, is because that will tell me how well you should perform in a background noise situation. And if you need a certain brand of hearing aid or a certain level of technology to help accomplish you hearing better in those background noise situations. And on top of that, we wanna make sure that we end up selecting a device that has the potential of using a remote accessory that can help you in those situations. So unless I know what your speech and noise score is, I can't make an honest assessment of whether or not you'd be better with one hearing aid versus another. Number three is your lifestyle. Your lifestyle has a lot to do with my decision-making process on which hearing aid is right for you. And let me give you an example of this. If you're someone who goes into a movie theater or a theater to watch plays, often in that particular facility or those facilities have a loop inside of them, then I'm likely going to be recommending a hearing aid for you that has a telecoil inside of it. This way you can directly tap into the audio of that facility, have it sent right through to your hearing aid so you can hear your absolute best in that environment. Number four is app requirements. Now, almost everybody has smartphones at this point. Some people do not, I totally get it. But if you're someone who likes to tinker a lot with things or you want to make a lot of little different adjustments inside of your hearing device app, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you go with the brand that has the better app to allow you to do that. If I don't know if what type of person you are or if you'd be into that kind of thing, then I can't really make a recommendation on the hearing aid. And the fifth reason I can't really answer that question is I don't know where you're gonna be going to get those hearing aids. If you're going to a hearing care provider that primarily works with Resound, then I would probably say, go and get a Resound hearing aid from them because they have a really good understanding of how to program those devices to maximize their performance for you. And if you end up going to primarily a Phonak provider, I would recommend that you get a Phonak hearing aid from them because they're gonna know how to operate that device better for you. There is a reason that it takes me up to an hour to evaluate an audiogram and ask a bunch of questions and identify different lifestyle factors for a particular individual. Even if I think that one particular hearing aid might be inherently better than another hearing aid, my opinion on which one is right for you can change based on one particular question out of 50 different questions that I ask you. Now listen, if you're gonna be spending good money on hearing aids, you wanna make sure that every aspect of your lifestyle and your hearing loss are examined under a magnifying glass to make sure that you're getting the absolute best recommendation for you. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you wanna see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.